This is Samir Taneja. This is Great British Chef Signature Series. My style of cooking, in a simple three words, I say it's precise, it's clean, it's simple. It is absolutely wrong conception that Indian food is all about chili. We take different approach for me, spices, flavor. Cooking was just a cooking for me. But when I worked with Pierre Kaufman, cooking become a religion by watching him. The way he comes in the kitchen, the way he was treating the ingredients, the way he was talking to chefs, it becomes a temple, then a place to work. Hi, I'm Samir, executive chef of Banaras restaurant Mayfair, recently awarded Michelin star Great Britain and Ireland. So today, I will be cooking one of my favorite, very close to my heart, an absolute humble, humble dish, a chart. But the twist here is the chart I'm doing is oyster and sea bread. India, being a big country, we eat chart in a different formats. You know, the climate changes, the ingredient changes, but still chart. My definition of chart and what when I was grown, my mom taught me it should taste umami. It should taste bitter, salty, sour, and sweet. All the five taste buds plus umami should tingle your taste buds. First thing first, we we'll start with the curing of fish. Checking the pin bones, if there is any. Coriander seeds whole. Salt, chili flakes. Curry without chili, I cannot imagine. Salt and sugar. Salt and sugar is the most important part of the curing. Black peppercorns. Grind, grind, grind together. So all the goodness of coriander, the oil from the coriander releases, so it's easy transfer of the flavors in the fish. Just a fine mix, a blend of all the flavors together. Beautiful. The seasoning has to go flesh side up, not the skin side. If my science is right, salt and sugar also takes out the moisture from the fish, but it also gives its own moisture. This could be a reverse osmosis. So imparting seasoning and flavors in the fish and preserving at the same time. Off it goes in a fridge for two hours, this lovely, beautiful sea bream cured for two hours. The spices are all wet. That means the juices are playing, the enzymes in the juices are playing. I'll remove the seasoning by washing it because the flavor is already there. Take the silver skin, otherwise it gives sliminess in the mouthful. Nicely take the skin off. One thing we have to make sure is when you take the skin off, no silver skin should be should left uh, on the fish. Very important. It can taste bitter. It can give a very funny texture and funny taste. So that's how it should come. Beautiful. 1.4 inch dice. If you are a good mathematician, otherwise a normal good uh, small dice is good. Chop, chop, chop. And always, once you cure your fish, put a little piece in your mouth and check if everything is okay. Perfect. That's what I wanted to achieve in a cured fish. Rest comes from the dressing. Rest comes from the dressing. Ah, oh, that's one good cured fish. Always important, we, we put it on the bed of ice. So the temperature of the fish remains intact. Oyster. In the restaurant, we use uh, this one, Porlock Bay Oyster. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. First, make sure it's, it's live, it's all intact, it's not open, otherwise, just discard it. There goes, and crack. We have to reserve the shells and the juice because this will also give seasoning to my dish. Chopping the oysters, taking the juice out. Make sure if you use the spoon, dip it in a bowl of ice. It's already there, so the temperature of the spoon is just right to deal with the oyster. I know we are going to chop the oyster, but still with respect, with lots of love and care, you take it out from the shell. Yeah, look at that. Off you go. Another one. Beautiful. Chop the oyster with a very light hand. When I mean with a very light hand, don't uh, treat it, this as a piece of meat. These are lovely, delicate, uh, Fragile, beautiful oysters. There you go, with the sea bream. 
cured sea bream. Next, we are going to make the dressing for the oysters, which is roasted raw mango. So, raw mango first. You, you can easily get the small mangoes, so the recipe can work uh, accordingly. The acidity from the raw mango, the mixture, the balance of sweetness and sourness, it really balances well. Raw mango is the king of uh, the flavor in this dish. So mango, we pour water just to mash the mangoes up and get a beautiful pulp out of it. Ideally, five to seven minutes in, at this quantity. So my mango is uh, boiling nicely. So the consistency I wanted to achieve is a marmalade kind of consistency. When all the spices goes, there, there is a little dancing of uh, mango, spices, uh, liquid, and it, it creates a natural marmalade. So the mango is almost mashed up. Time to add the spices. And another one minute, it's all going to be a beautiful, lovely dressing. So spices, black salt in. Red chili powder, roasted cumin powder. You just roast some cumin seeds and grind it. Roasted cumin powder in. Pinch of salt, pinch of sugar. Lovely. And we can adjust the seasoning once. We know if we got the desired taste. Oh, it's already looking good. Quick taste. Always a bit more sugar. And that's it. Now it's okay. Salt sugar, the acid comes from mango. Uh, heat comes from chili. And all the five gives a umami, gives birth to an umami in this lovely little bowl. Cool it on the bed of ice. It's better to stick it in the refrigerator because it's hot. There you go. Over the ice. Now rest of the prep. So chili, avocado, lime, ginger, and fresh herbs. I always like to peel my ginger with the spoon. I waste less and it's easy to peel. Never use knife. See how beautiful it comes. If the knife is sharp, 30% of the problem is solved. Chili, red chili, picking some uh, mint and coriander. Lemon and orange, I try to pick uh, on leaf. It can uh, look donkey, you know, different shape, but it's absolutely important to choose your ingredient. Everything is prepped up all nicely. It looks all beautiful. Now mixing and plating and in our mouth. Ale, we go. So I'm getting my plate ready. Ice is very important and it not only looks good, it keeps the temperature of uh, the dish. So now we are putting the shells on the ice plate. So all the little juice left on the shells can go on the fish. Plate ready. Zest of orange, very, very important. Ah, be generous. Lemon on the wine, beautiful. And a lime. Nice. It's already fragrant, it's beautiful. Squeeze of uh, blood orange, you can use any orange. Lemon juice and a lovely beautiful lime. Cold spoon, mix it gently. It's already formed its own tiger milk. See, look at that. It's already formed its own beautiful juices. Our lovely dressing, roasted mango dressing or mango raw mango dressing. Oh, it's already forming a deliciousness. It's already getting a beautiful umami with all the other tingling of taste buds ready. Hmm. Need nothing. Already prepped ginger. Chili for heat. And freshly chopped mint and coriander. Now, straight away on the shelf, the plate just can't look pretty. If you put the food on, it should be smiling, singing. That's the right plate for me. Last one. Look at that. Last but not least, absolutely not an Indian ingredient, avocado. We don't get in India. We don't grow in India. But it really goes absolutely bizarre with this dish. Absolutely amazing. Fresh avocado. 
And if you want to be more innovative, you it can uh, you can put uh, some potato crisp on the top for uh, for crunch. And voila, sea bream and oyster chart.